But wait, there's more. Less than three days of the deadline. Here is Marty Biron on the latest edition of the Insider Trading After Show. Love this segment. Marty, great to see you. Uh, we just heard from Chris Johnston. The Canucks considering trading Elias Lindholm in order to potentially acquire Jake Gensel. Now, you and I both know Vancouver just acquired Lindholm about a month ago. First round pick, multiple prospects going to Calgary. Six points in 14 games yep. since his arrival. Do you think it makes sense to trade Lindholm now? It, is getting Gensel Marty worth it? Uh, I think the wheeling and dealing is great in the National Hockey League if you're a GM, but to wheel and deal somebody you just acquired and was going to make your team so much better, and then to think to add Jake Gensel, I think Gensel is a fantastic player and would be a great fit with the Vancouver Canucks, but to take somebody you just got in a trade and to flip them uh, at the deadline, I think it's uh, pretty gutsy. And, and listen, I think it would actually make the Vancouver Canucks just a little bit better. I think Jake, Jake Gensel is a fantastic player. And if you can get him and not have the Vegas Golden Knights get Jake Gensel or somebody else out west, you're definitely making everybody a little bit worse, making yourself better, and you're shipping Lindholm over to the east side. I think that is probably the, uh, um, you know, the game plan here is looking around saying, who can get Jake Gensel? And if we get in on this, we're going to not only make ourselves better, but we're going to, you know, stop from having to play against them. And then you've got CJ also reporting that the Edmonton Oilers' number one trade target is Anaheim Duck center Adam Henrique, the veteran. Would that be your number one target, Marty, uh, a top two line center? Or do you feel like they should be looking at something else? No, I really like Adam Henrique, and I think he's having a fantastic season with the Anaheim Ducks. When I say I really like him, it's not through Jay. I really hate him because in 2012, he scored the overtime game six winner against Henrik Lundqvist and my Rangers, and we lost in the conference final. So I don't like him, but I think he's a fantastic <laughs> hockey player. Now, this year, as the top-line center with the Anaheim Ducks, he's been on the ice at five-on-five five for 29 goals for, 29 goals against. Like, the Ducks are not that good, and he's, you know, just even when it looks at five-on-five five goals scored and against. So I think he's had a really solid season. The points are there. Now, I think he fits better as a third-line center with the Edmonton Oilers. So you look at having that depth and maybe just, uh, you know, a matchup type of line when you, it comes to the playoffs and having heavy type matchups. But his playoff experience uh, and, and everything that he's accomplished in Anaheim over the last few years, I think would definitely fit right in with the Edmonton Oilers. So you may not like him, but darn it, do you ever respect him? Right, Marty? Uh, yeah, I don't like him, but I love him and I respect him, but really I hate him. <laughs> Yeah, that perfectly clears it all up. I love it. Uh, <laughs> Jake Chikrin acquired by Ottawa at last year's deadline. Now he's number five on our trade bait board. Do you think it makes sense, Marty, for Steve Steos to get this deal done as soon as possible before the deadline, or do you maybe wait until the summer? It only makes sense if you're getting an amazing return on Jacob Chikrin right now. And I think the return may be more substantial at the draft during the summertime because Chikrin still has another year left, right? So teams that would be looking at a rental right now, um, this is not Jake Chikrin. Jacob Chikrin has got another year left, and I think you can definitely get a whole lot if you trade Jacob Chikrin. But also, I think the uh, Ottawa Senators have to look at their blue line and say, okay, with Jake Sanderson, with Thomas Shabbat, with Jacob Chikrin, like Artem Zub, like we're really good. So do we want to, you know, throw that out the window and say, let's start again and trade Chikrin? Well, you better get something really big in return. So I like the way the Ottawa Senators are going with Chikrin. So Steve Steos, you can make the deal possibly more in the summertime because you'll get more. But if somebody is offering you like a big, big return, you probably have to pull the trigger before Friday. You are going to be a huge part of our Trade Center coverage on Friday, Marty. It's brought to you by Harvey's. Do you have a Harvey's order you want to put in right now? Because I'm really tight with the Harvey's people. I can just do it for you. As long as, long as I get a side of poutine, I'm all set. You can do whatever you want with the burgers. A side of poutine is what I need. And that's a great suggestion because Marty's going to be a part of our Trade Center coverage. And we know that it's brought to you by Harvey's. And we also know that Harvey's makes terrific poutine. They're almost known more for their poutine than their burgers at this point. Uh, everybody's going to be loving poutine from Harvey's this Friday on Canada's number one trade deadline show.